dead rodent or repulsive insect, a soiled diaper may be removed from the kitchen or living room because their presence is very revolting. Yes, true that. All right. All the way through that. Wow. If you didn't know that, you would live in the... What about a guy whose home was smokes cocaine and walks in your house and stinks <laughs> you up to death? <laughs> Can you remove him? No, you cannot. <laughs> Ted is definitely shy. <laughs> yeah, but he's revolting. <laughs> revolting? He's, uh, they were listening. <laughs> What's your baby's name? Tama Bloomer. It's baby time. Tama Bloomer. Tama Bloomer. Tama Bloomer, hi. She doesn't speak, hi. She, she doesn't speak English, though. Tama Bloomer. Zadie Yankel is going to show us how to wave to a baby. There it is. Hi, Hi all you folks out there. I hope you're, you're inspired by this awesome class and the awesome members of the class. <laughs> we do not discriminate on age. True that, true that. Yankel Stern has to go. Let's have a hand for Yankel Stern. Woo! Come on, Yankel, you're the best. New member of the... Elevated our shirt to a new level. I think Yankel knows more about this stuff than anybody who ever came here yet. <laughs> you know what it is in the Babbage? Whenever you come to start a shir and show we start with this subject. Is it? Chavez? Uh, yeah, oh, <laughs> Chavez. And then, looks, and then, and then oh, really? five years later, yes. hey, let's learn health of Chavez again. Again. Oh, Oh, come on, every time. Yeah. On our head. Every time. Oh. Okay. Okay, we just had a baby fall on her head. Potatoes. Potatoes. Nazan Rea to Paris. Okay. Charlie fell two feet. The last one. We're having a why did the kid fall off the chair moment. <laughs> what? Naftali took all the chip moment. Naftali took all the chips moment. That was couscous? That is Mazoinus. I told you it's couscous three times. <laughs> I thought you said it was rice. Rice couscous. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, the last category of other categories of muksa is called nolad. Uh, uh, the term nolad refers to an item or substance that either evolved into existence on Shabbos or Yom Tov or assumed a new form that it did not born. have earlier. Nolad is also... Do you know what nolad means? Yeah. Born. 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 Yeah. It's also discussed, okay. It might be said that Nolad is the antithesis of Mukhan. It means the opposite of Mukhan. An item that is Nolad is almost by definition lacking any preparedness for any Shabbos or Yom Tov used simply because it did not exist before Shabbos or Yom Tov. So you couldn't prepare it. Why not? It didn't exist. I don't know. Just watch Nolad. You didn't make it Mukhan. How can you, that's why you can't uh, touch it. What are the two categories of nolad? Nolad. No man. Okay. Here they are. Nolad gomer. Absolute nolad. Kain so, nolad. So, Kain nolad. So, quasi nolad. So, Who is Quasimodo? No, no, quasi. <laughs> Win the fabulous cup award if you can tell me who Quasimodo was. Uh, fuzzy Fuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Fuzzy doesn't care. <laughs> Nobody knows what Quasimodo is. You guys just murder, all day murder, long. Murder, murder. Cartoon. Cartoon, no? Uh, okay, that's your assignment. Who is Quasimodo? Spaceman. You can look Rock it up on your cell phone. He was a singer, no? He was a singer, no? He was a Shokanura? No, this is a question for a. He was a singer. He was a Didi A pop singer. No. I don't even know how to Who is the original Quasimodo? Put it that oh, way. That one, People yeah. may have borrowed that it's name. This guy. <laughs> Do you want to know? Or you, you. Want you. <laughs> let's hear, let's hear. Quasimodo was the name of the hunchback of Notre Dame. 
Ah, I remember learning this in school. In high school, we learned this. You never heard of the Hunchback of Notre Dame? In Russia, they learned this. What do you mean? What do you know in Russia? The, no? the, the Hunchback of Moscow. No, the Hunchback. You know the Hunchback? The Hunchback of Petersburg. Attack. Petersburg. It's a Russian story. Come on, it's translated to English. Yeah, you know the Hunchback, he's a short guy. Yeah, I know. He has a bad back and he kills everybody. He doesn't kill anybody, he's a good guy. He's a good guy, but everybody thinks he wants but to because kill. Because he's so horrible to look at, people put him down all day long and make his life miserable. Eventually they kill and him. He, no, but yeah, yeah, they do. But he becomes a hero, he saves the girl. Yeah, it's a classic. It's called a classic. Okay. I bet you don't even know. No Peter one wins Wolf. the Chavez Cup of Reward. Petje. Oh, I never know. Petje <laughs> uh, Wolf. He didn't they go to uh, uh, school in Russia, right? Wolf, I, I never learned. Mm -hmm. Nolad, okay. No, not from the, from the um, symphony or something. What is Nolad Gomor? Absolute Nolad. The term Nolad Gomor, absolute Nolad, is total Nolad. Refers to an object complete creation. or substance that evolved from where nothing existed before or from something completely dissimilar. Thus, any object or substance that metamorphosized and assumed a totally new form is Muxa on Chavez as well as Yom Tov. The following are examples of Nolad Gomor. An egg that was laid on Chavez or Yom Tov. A freshly laid egg is Muxa and may not be eaten because its emergence on Chavez or Yom Tov con constitutes a totally new creation. It is therefore a prohibited form of Nolad. Fresh milk from a cow. Milk produced by a cow is totally new, a new creation. The milk is classified as Nolad Gomer if the cow was milked on Chavez or Yom Tov. Well, Why is it considered new? It's just transferring it from where it was before to another place. No, it became... Uh, it was milk in the udder. No. The egg was egg in the chicken. It's fresh milk every day. Why is it the fact that it came out of somewhere else make it Nolad? Because well, it was separated. Because until it comes out of the, out of the mm. womb, it's still blood. Yeah. Milk is blood until it comes out. That's what Torah tells us. No, it's not and the only reason why it's, it's white uh, is because the Abish did, did, didn't want uh, the, 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 the baby to be disgusted by it, or the parents to be disgusted by it. Mm -hmm. But really, it is your, it's your blood. That's what it is. It's your blood. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, it's milk. Yes. Yes. Well, here's it's another uh, reason. Side, of, side products from your blood. Byproduct of, of blood. It's and the only reason why it's white is because God makes it white. Otherwise, it'd be red. It should really be red. Really? Milk should really be red. Why is the blood red color? Why blood? So you should be afraid of it. You should be afraid. Of it. Milk is red. Okay, because it has red blood cells. Yes. <laughs> Even where the okay, listen to this about milking a cow. Even where the milking itself does not involve any malacca prohibition, a non-Jew milked his own cow for his own use. The milk is nevertheless muksa and may not be used until after Shabbos or Yom Tov. Fresh milk is also muksa because it came from a muksa source, which is the cow. Fresh milk. Fresh milk. What, is the time up? The sure shear's over? It's 8.35. Can you read? Oh, it's it's 10 minutes. Time. Pinkus just left. It's 8.35. Hey, that's Pinkus, that time we have to wrong. give Pinkus a leaving moment. Good night, Pinkus. Pinkus, it's only 8.35. Five more minutes. Oh, he's back. It's confident. Uh, that clock is faster because my wife always does Shkia. Exactly. Yeah. Lights the candles. No, so I want to make smart. sure she lights five minutes. My early. wife also used to do that. So, I, 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 I was, was late to Beis Chai Moshka. She would lose for five bucks. She would come... By nine Folks, it's a talking yeah. moment. The crowd must converse. It's, it's needed for their well-being. So if you need to do something, go to the fridge, get some food. Ah, uh, who's here? Joseph Flamer. Joseph Flamer. Give him a hand, folks. The flame is in the house. The flame is in the house. Give it up. National YouTube. What did Hendrix have for lunch today? Yes, tell us. Yeah. <laughs> I think he ate right. a lot of pizza. There you have it, folks. Hendrix oh, ate pizza? pizza for lunch. What's Hendrix ate pizza? Chocolate opened up with well, the pizza. He, he, he had what? cholesterol? Where, where, he had where, cholesterol? In, in the restaurant? Uh, the that's, that's why he, that's that's why he died at a young age, because like, after, after he, the he had, he had a severe high blood pressure. French guy had a glass of stuff. Okay, hurry up. Pinchas has five minutes. Pizza opened up. Another example of... Nolad. Sap extracted from trees. Maple syrup. Maple syrup that is secreted from trees on Shabbos or Yom Tov in the springtime is classified as Nolad Gomor. The sap was previously absorbed in the tree as part of it and is now considered a newly 
created entity. That really doesn't make sense because it's in the tree and it's not blood. Sap, because sap is created. Sap is inside of a product <coughs> and, 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 and it's part of the tree, but when it comes out of the tree, it stops being a part of the So let's say you were trapped in a forest on Shabbos and you had nothing to eat and you could get some sap out of the tree. Lick it. You could lick it in the tree. You could lick it in the tree. You could your tongue into the tree and you could lick the sap wow. that's dripping from the tree. That's in the tree. You could lick into the hole of the sap. All right, folks, there it is. How to, how to lick a tree on Shabbos. But the tree's muksa. I'm a lick expert. If anybody wants to know, I'm from, San, I'm from San Francisco, California. And if you you want to know how to lick a tree, um, there's a lot of tree huggers over there, and uh, they will teach you. All right. Wood that burned to ash. Wood or coal that was burned and has been reduced to ashes is muksa because the ash is allegedly regarded as a new creation. And is therefore classified as nolad. Therefore, a matchstick used to light candles on Yom Tov that has burned itself out, even after being put down and is completely scorched, is muksa and may not be handled. Get that? Don't handle that burnt match after you light the candles. Because it turned into charcoal. It changes its form. But 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 if you if, wait, that's not correct. If you light, if you light something, you light before Shabbos. So it didn't turn into coal on Shabbos. It turned into coal after Shabbos. I mean, before Shabbos. Hold it. Nobody's focusing. Get more before or after instead of Shabbos. You light the match and you light the candles, right? Is the match, while it's still lit, is it coal or not? No, it's not coal. It's, 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 it's but it's not Shabbos yet. It's still, you know. Uh, for women, it's, it's, it's muksa. For men, what do I want to be muksa? Before Shabbos? No, the point of the match itself, it did not, it didn't become, it didn't change from wood to coal. On Shabbos, it, it happened before Shabbos. No, but it was, you, you were saying we learned it was being used for a, a year, so that's not, no, 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 you can't do it on Shabbos. You can't light, you can't make fire. Yeah, you no, can't light you that match on Shabbos. Kid could play with, uh, with matches, but well, that's a diuk that might be looked stupid, into but, but, by but, a um, but it's reasonable potential. student. Technically, there's no problem. Here's another type of nolad, Quasimodo nolad. Quasimodo? <laughs> <laughs> Hunchback of Notre Dame nolad. Kayan Nolad, Kayan Nolad. It's like Kayan and Evel, huh? Yeah, the Kain term Kayan Nolad, Quasi Nolad. Where the forks? Right here. In front of the. Or semi Nolad, semi Nolad. In front of the computer. Refers to an item that did not evolve anew, but rather is an existing entity that has undergone a minor transition and has assumed a slightly different form or function than before. <coughs> Kayan Nolad is not a true form of Nolad. However, because it is an item that developed a new purpose and use on Yom Tov, it is somewhat similar to Nolad Gomer. A kind Nolad item is consequently lacks the high degree of Muchan required for Yom Tov and is therefore Muksa on Yom Tov, even though the very same item may would not be Muksa on Shabbos. Whoa, there's a difference. It looks like no, Quasimodo is, is, is definitely high, heavier on Yom Tov than Shabbos. Yeah. Muchan means prepared. Yeah, if, to, to touch an item on Shabbos, it has to be Muchan, prepared for Shabbos. Here's examples of Quasimodo Nolot. Quasimodo. One, a toy that is broken on Shabbos, but whose separate parts are still usable for entertaining a child is not muksa on Shabbos. So if you want to do it for entertainment, for your nephew, right? Right. The broken toy and parts are nevertheless muksa on Yom Tov because, in a sense, the toy is an item that has become transformed into something functionally different than before. This situation is therefore so much similar to no Why? Why? Why Yom Tov not? Because Yom Tov is more strict. You say because Yom Tov I can take it somewhere. Well, I don't know. Ah. You, you didn't really get into it. You just said that Yom Tov is way more strict. I'll tell you why. Because... On Shabbos, you're never going to take it anywhere to fix it. In Yom Tif, if you allow the guy to hold a broken piece, he'll take the broken piece and bring it to a place to fix. He can carry it now, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's your reason. That's not bad. 
Uh, okay. Similarly, a ch if a chair or other furniture became broken, the segments or components of that are not muksa on Shabbos if they can fulfill another permissible use for a toy, for example. However, on Yom Tov, these same components would be muksa because their function or use of use has been changed, and this resembles nolad. So nolad on Yom, on Yom Tov is completely awesome. Wow. What? No, not on Yom Tov is completely awesome. Something, if something was created on Yom Tov, you can never use it. Okay, so we're getting into a whole new topic now. Is the time up? Because I don't want to start something this big. How about air? What's happening? What's happening? Of water. That's the wrong oh, time. How about juice? That's the wrong time. Yeah, it's time. time you, you could put, uh, you could squeeze juice and uh, it's going to be... Uh, well, time is up, folks. Thanks for listening. Now no, we have... two more minutes. No. Two that, more minutes. Two more minutes for Chaim Peel's okay, parting yeah. Radman oh, yeah, yeah. speech. Introducing Radman. Hi, this is Radman okay. and Rad Baby. <laughs> and we'd like to tell you the message of Shabbos. Now, we just learned that if something was created on Shabbos, we do not use it. Now, does that make sense? Yes, it makes sense. Because anything that was created on Shabbos, there is no blessing for the weekday. There is no blessing in your life. You need something that you use and work for in the weekdays. Anything you gain on Shabbos, you will have no benefit. So you might as well enjoy your day of rest. What do you care if you have Shalom Bayes? What do you care if your kids have five minutes a week to talk to their father? Why does it bother you that you get to relax after a whole week of working? Think about it. Relaxing from your cell phone. Relaxing from your iPhone. Relaxing from your driving yourself nuts. Android and phone. finally enjoying your family. Enjoying the prosperity and money that you earned a whole week. And actually having time to enjoy it. Not just once a week, once a year going on your stupid cruise that you spent $100 million on. And a $100 million boat. Instead, enjoy a beautiful meal with your family. Enjoy your delicious nash. And basically bring other brothers oh, close to Judaism. And Shabbos is a good tzach. Shabbos, my entire breed in America, Zog the Reb, the Reb Marash. My entire breed in America. Shabbos. Shabbos is a good tzach. L'chaim, l'chaim. Shabbos is a good tzach. Do it for Radman. And Radman has finished. Shabbos et the Ochen Harasho. At the Haroshe, uh,